you've got your baseball attachment attached to your impulse inertial exercise trainer. Uh, basically, this baseball attachment is for doing one thing, practicing hitting a baseball and teaching your legs, core body, arms, you know, everything to work, energy from the ground out to the bat. When you're doing batting exercises, uh, you know, different athletes have different heights. The pulley should be level with the uh, knee, and that's just where it goes. And you really want two and a half pounds on the sled. You don't want any more than that. You're going to start off, there's two fundamental exercises for the bat. Both of them are, are fundamentally the same biomechanics, but uh, different techniques. The first technique, and this will give you the greatest batting energy, is going to be the tonic technique. And so you're going to keep the rope tight the whole time. And what you're going to do is put your body to where when that sled hits the center and it jerks the bat back, that's right where you hit the ball. You want to do this exercise with your hips, not your hands. So you want to hit the ball with your hips. So what you want to do is have your stance like it's going to be when you hit the ball and you're just rotating your hips in right where you hit the ball. So that's the You want to have your eyes looking right where the ball is going to be like you're actually hitting the ball with the bat. And excuse me, this is really big time energy on your, on your core. So, and that's what you want to develop is your abs and, and, and all your hip motion. So that, that's what you want to do. Now, depending on what your batting technique is, I like to drive with this leg. So I'm driving with the gas rock on this, this leg right here off that toe and, and whipping the hip into the position. So you're going to do that exercise for about a minute, if you can last a minute, and then take a couple minutes of break and then do it again. Now, the second exercise looks like this one, but it's different in that it's phasic. And what you do is you back up just a little to where there can be slack in the rope. And you see I'm actually popping that rope right where I would strike the ball. So it's just the very first part of the hitting the ball and the drive through of the ball. And then you let, let go of it and go back and do it again. But once again, you do this with the energy out of that foot on the ground coming through this leg to the hip and the hip what you hit it with. And again, your stance is very important. You can see how the energy goes through that rope so quickly. You want to have a really sharp, crisp pop. Not a hit and a drive, but just a pop. And when you're actually hearing this, I don't know if you can hear this on the uh, thing, but there's actually almost a little kind of a guitar chord twang when it first gets tight. You'll know when you have a really nice, clean strike when you do that. And you do, uh, try to do 30 seconds, uh, maybe 45 seconds. You're really looking for form. You're not looking to burn a lot of energy. You're going to do that anyway. But what you're looking for is form. So if you don't have good form with this, it's not the exercise you want. And that's the bat. Thank you.